Welcome to Daniel Reviews. I'm Daniel Goodwin, and today we're looking at the Sucker Cordless Polishing Buffing Toolkit. Let's get into it. Okay, so you can see what you get. You get the, of course, the tool itself. This most probably the most important part. Very nicely made molded plastic. Um, you get two batteries. These look a lot like the uh, Milwaukee M12 batteries. I don't, they are not, um, but they do look a lot like it. And they kind of function a lot like it. They just, oh, hello. <laughs> Switch was on. Just run that in there. And then you've got, this is very nice. You've got a uh, control setting for your speed. It goes up to six and it can go down to as low as one. So that's very nice. Then you got an on off switch. I can't tell you how much I love this. I hate the tools where you have to have a button that you press and you have to hold for like two seconds before it turns on and you press and hold for two seconds and it turns off. A switch like this is awesome. This is what I would definitely absolutely want in a, in a tool uh, like this. And so yes, that's, that's a good win right off the bat. You got your charger. All right. And then you got several different, um, you know, uh, buffing and polishing uh, uh, tools here. So one, you got 2000 grit sandpaper. Um, if you're going to be um, polishing, that's that's certainly a high grain. Now, if you're going to be doing something a little, you know, not sanding, then you've got some of these other options here. Pardon for all the noise. But it looks like you've got a number of these that you can work through. Um, very interesting. They <laughs> keep getting smaller and smaller. I'm gonna have to go through that in more detail. Let's go ahead and open this up. There you go. Got a good pad there. And then this one's kind of got the, I don't know if you can tell, it's got the divots to it. So it's kind of got an uneven feel to it. And then this one's kind of like a similar sponge material, but is of course all flat. Um, which is good if you want that smooth finish. All right, nice polishing, soft. You know, this one is going to work great on your car. Let's see, I think this is probably a carrying bag. Oh, no, I'm sorry. It is not a carrying bag. This is a apron. So, um, interesting. You can keep your pads in there and you can just wrap it around you. And that's interesting. Wasn't expecting that. Charging is pretty standard. You have this plug here that goes in. Um, it turns red when it's charging. You can see I've got it charging right now. It's a barrel plug that goes into this battery. Um, I'm pretty sure it's compatible with the 20 volt battery pack that comes with the soccer chainsaw, which I still use. I love this tool. This is awesome. Um, I'm pretty sure the two are interchangeable. So we're gonna try that out and see if it successfully charges this battery. Uh, using the, the tool, it's pretty much exactly like you expect, a lot like a um, orbital sander. These uh, sides are kind of like a very soft Velcro. This has a Velcro uh, pad on it, so you can just basically press it on there, and now it's on. And then, of course, you can start buffing with this. So we're going to go put it to the test. Well, I mentioned that I'd hit this once with the Ryobi uh, pressure washer, and of course it didn't take off a lot of this bug splatter and whatnot, but I'm gonna get the soccer polishing tool out and I'm gonna see what it can do against this and see if it gets it loose. Let's go check it out. Okay, we're back at it. Um, as you can see, I've done my best to get this, uh, this cleaned off as much as I can and uh, Still haven't been able to get this uh, this orange stuff off. I've been working on it for a while, as well as a few other spots that are sorely in need of a touch-up. So we're going to have to work on it a little bit more, see if we can't get it looking better. Okay, here it is after hitting it with the uh, soccer polisher. I think it's done really, really well. Uh, particularly, you can see most of the bug stuff and everything that was there. Actually, I have a couple more I need to hit again. Um, and of course, up on the top, on the hood, everything is looking much, much better than it did before. 
So uh, I think it's definitely made a huge difference in, in this. So we might hit it one more time and see, see if we can get it to slightly better. I think it looks a lot better. All them bug spots on the front, bumper, all of that taken care of. So, All right, I think we're going to wrap up our review here. I've been very impressed with the Soccer cordless buffing kit. Um, one, in its performance, has been fantastic. Uh, and its build quality is really good. Um, granted, I'm partial to the Makita esque uh, color frame with the teal and black and i think it looks really good um, but what it actually reminds me most of is my milwaukee 12 volt lineup perhaps that's partly due to the you know the way the battery fits into the handle here um, and a similar weight and and feel to a milwaukee m12 tool but it's really well constructed and it works really uh, really well. I was impressed how it took off the debris and bug guts and everything off of the, the wife's van. Did a great job. I love that it's a switch uh, on off. Uh, that's just, uh, can't ask for that enough. It's got a nice uh, state of life charge indicator here so you can get an idea of how much battery you got remaining. And it's very easy to make adjustments using the dial. Um, so all those things make this a very easy to use tool and uh, you get a lot of included accessories with it, two batteries, and of course the charger. I think it represents a really good value. Uh, again, I am surprised that Milwaukee or someone else hasn't uh, introduced a tool similar for their lineup. So it's a gap that the other providers don't really have, and uh, it works really well. So strongly recommend this one, it's good buy. That's gonna do it for this video. Thank you for watching. Again, I'm Daniel Goodwin. I'll see you in the next video and don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Thanks.